It is absolutely true that the GOP has to hyper-focus on culture war issues because they don't have any real policies that would impact the lives of Americans in a material way. So they try to distract you with these wedge issues and culture war issues that actually don't change the day-to-day -day lives of most Americans. And I say most Americans because I feel as if saying that this is just all culture war, it's technically true, but it feels like an oversimplification because it doesn't just impact the culture. What impacts the culture does have an impact on people's lives in a concrete way. So when, you know, the GOP and Fox News, for example, spend weeks over and over again talking about how LGBTQ plus people are predators and groomers, sure, that's a culture war issue. It's a distraction, but it's more than just, oh, we think gay people are icky again as a society because Republicans are telling me what to think. No, it actually affects people's lives in a very, very direct way for the worse. Case in point, Robbie Pierce, a parent, took to Twitter to explain what happened to him following Fox News' hate campaign. Well, that didn't take long. We decided to take a trip on Amtrak with the kids for spring break. Nine hours into a pleasant ride, a man was suddenly standing next to me, shouting across me at my six-year-old son. Remember what I told you? They stole you. They're pedophiles. I stood between the stranger and my son, whose life has already been so hard, who carries traumas larger than his whole small, fierce frame. I was immovable. Get away from my family. Family? That's not a family. You're rapists. You steal black and Asian kids. My son and five-year-old daughter were both now openly crying, petrified. He yelled right at them, unmoved. These guys aren't natural. Homosexuals are an abomination. They steal and rape kids. It was suddenly no longer an absurd, abstract attack in an online comment section or a distant legislative session. These horrors were being screamed at my sweet, bewildered son, who's worked so hard to process his grief and control his feelings, who only wants love and safety. I grabbed the kids and moved them to another car, while my ferocious husband went into Papa Bear mode and shouted the man away from us. Eventually, the conductor arrived and the man lost his focus on us. Now let's just pause right there for a moment. So this man is accosting this family, minding their own business because he was riled up by Fox News. Riled up by uh, basically nonstop coverage uh, with messaging like this. Grooming. Groomer. Grooming. Groomer. Groomers. Groomer in chief. Grooming. Groomer. Groomer. Grooming. Groomers. Grooming. Groomers. Groomer. Grooming. Grooming. Groomer. Grooming. Grooming. Groomers. Grooming. 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 Groomer. Groomer. Grooming. Groom. Groomers. Grooming. Groomers. Groomer. Grooming. Groomed. Groomers. Groomed. Grooming. Grooming. Groomer. Grooming. Groomer. Groomer. Grooming. Grooming. Groom. Grooming. 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 Groomers. Grooming. Grooming. Groomer. Groomer. Groom, grooming, grooming, groomers, groomers, grooming, grooming, groom, grooming, groomer, groomed, groomed, grooming, groom, grooming, groomers, grooming, groomers, 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 groom, groomers, groom, grooming, groom, grooming, grooming, groom. Pro pedophile media fully backs this pro grooming position. Yeah. So is this culture war stuff? Sure. But what happens in the culture? has a real concrete impact on the lives of people. And Robbie Pierce acknowledged that. He went on to say, we all know where that comes from. So thanks to Fox and Murdoch, JK Rowling and Marjorie Taylor Greene, to the senators and priests and everyone else who harms kids and thinks it's politically expedient to project onto gentle families like mine to stir up their lucrative culture war. I asked my son if he'd seen the man before. He said the man had confronted him when we let him go to the bathroom alone, which he'd been so proud to do at first, but two of afraid to do again after. Yet, we're the groomers. I'm livid and ashamed that I didn't notice something was up. Yeah, so Robbie acknowledges that all of the hate that Fox News has been spewing, it's not just happening in a vacuum. It's not just Fox News is re-changing people to think in a homophobic way and getting them to accept the gay predator myth after, you know, the LGBTQ plus community has fought tooth and nail to fight that stigma. This has real-world consequences. And um, to be very clear, it's not like all of a sudden gay families are being accosted because of Fox News. This was a thing that had always happened, but it's just going to get worse because of the culture war 
Matt Levides gives us some more context in an NBC News article. Pierce and Broverman said this was not the first time their family has had hate directed at them in public. They said that sometimes strangers will taunt them with the F word and other homophobic slurs. Broverman also recalled an episode where a driver rolled down his window and asked the pair's children, did they kidnap you? But Pierce and Broverman described this latest incident as more aggressive and egregious than past instances, adding that it was the first time a verbal attack came laced with talking points from right-wing media and legislators. As soon as he started saying pedophiles and things like that, I thought he just seemed like he came preloaded with these statements, Pierce said. So I thought, oh, okay, we're dealing with someone who's consuming right-wing media. So this specifically is why people like myself push back so hard whenever we see this anti-LGBTQ plus rhetoric. Whenever we hear people talk about how trans women are predators, this is why we push back so hard because that conversation has real world implications. There's a reason why trans women are the targets of murder. There's a reason why gay people are harassed, gay families are harassed. It's because of the culture war. It's a culture for a lot of Americans, but for gay people, for trans people, this is real life. It's not just culture. This is real life. This affects people in a real concrete way. And if you have somebody in your life who's LGBTQ and you watch Fox News or you vote for these politicians who play into the culture war, you are doing demonstrable harm to somebody who you should be aligned with who you should be fighting for. I mean, I can't tell you how many of my own friends and family members, uh, they claim to support me and my husband and be pro-LGBTQ+, but then the first chance they get, they vote Republican. Oh, thank you. Thank you for voting for a politician who not only riles people up to hate against me, but also support laws that take away my rights. That makes me a second-class citizen. Thank you so much for being an ally. What a great ally you are. No, 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 no. See, my thing is that if you don't support me unequivocally, if you don't reject these politicians and actively fight against this hateful rhetoric, then you're not an ally. And I don't want you in my life. Like, it shouldn't be the case that in 2022, trans women have to walk around wondering if they're going to be assaulted by some transphobe. It shouldn't be the case that if you're a gay couple and you forget and you're a little bit like too intimate, if you place your hand on your husband's shoulder while you're at the grocery store, you shouldn't have to be worried. Oh my God, did somebody see? Am I going to get a baseball bat to the head? I mean, it, I've been with my husband now for almost 12 years and we've never held hands in public because... I don't know if it's a safe environment. Sure, you know, if you live in a more liberal area, that's all peachy keen. Uh, but there's always just one person that might say something or might do something. So it's best to not rile anyone up, not draw attention to yourself. But with families like this, if you have kids and you're a gay couple, it's kind of obvious, right? You can't really hide it that much. But the point is that we shouldn't have to hide it. And all of these so-called culture war issues are going to force gay people back into the closet. These politicians might not actually think that gay people are predators or groomers, but the audiences that they're speaking to, the constituents that they're playing to and pandering to, they actually do believe this bullshit. And these culture war issues make life hell. It's not just culture war. It's, it's, it's real life. So, you know, uh, this is... The result, and I wouldn't be surprised if more gay families are accosted like this. Probably many are and just don't speak up because they don't want to draw attention to themselves. I'm sure that Robbie, just by mentioning this, is the target of right-wingers who are pointing him, him out, saying, hey, this person who accosted them is actually a, a brave truth-teller who's looking out for children. It, it's just, it, it's truly gross. And um, as a gay person, I can't not hate anyone who has contributed to this hate campaign or supports either directly or indirectly any politician or propagandist who's contributing to this hate campaign. Fuck you if you support this.